Gonna go live in three, two. It should have a countdown. One. <laughs> All right, guys. Um. Hey guys, July sixth, new month, new video. I'm trying to keep. Persistent map pack today. Like, all right, so I have this app on my phone, and it's I think it's called Level Up Life. It is, <laughs> and it just kind of it, it kind of allows me to to have goals set per day on um, things I want to take care of and things I want to do. Um, ignore the fact that I'm like undressing. It's just that hot up here lately. It's just been crazy hot. In this entire area, and crazy hot usually means you know crazier people. Um, oh jeez, need to take another shower apparently. Um, but let me let me go through the motions and talk about things that I was able to like you know remember and write down. Um, obviously, I mentioned how crazy hot hot it is, so excuse the sweat and the shine. <laughs> Just the weather has been like that lately, so. Okay. Um, today, actually, one of the things I realized I didn't do is for the entire month of June was that board. Now, I put some things, uh, I even made a list of it. For the month of June, I made a list rather than do it on the board. And it wasn't like I wanted to. I just happened to have done it that way. Um, but today, I'm actually going to redo the board. Wrote it, uh, I'm going to redo the board. I wrote it down. So... I'm hoping that I allow myself to freaking do that. I'm trying to. One of the things whenever I was with Xavier's mother was um, I would do like something. I would make a mistake. Okay. I mean, nothing major, nothing tremendous. Like, okay, well. Nick, you can do this better. I'm like, cool. All right, cool. Thank you for letting me know. I really do appreciate it. And I'll do that. And then it will just gradually go back to where it was. And I'm trying hard not to fall back into those kind of... Not not the mistake that I made, but when I make a change to keep with it. Same thing with, like, diets. Um, I, I know some of you people, so some of you guys and gals can relate to that. Um... Um, when it comes to dieting, um, stopping smoking. Keep in mind, not my thing that I'm going to try to quit. Uh, <laughs> just the idea of like, okay, when if I do make an improvement, I need to find a way to keep with it. And the board thing I really like, and I don't want that to stop the recordings. I think there was like maybe two weeks ago, I missed the entire week of doing it. Um, half because it was hot, half because a lot was going on. Just didn't, just wasn't able to keep up with it. But I'm like, I'm close to like, I'm, I, I think I'm over my halfway point right now. So if I just continue doing this by the end of the year, I'm hoping I'm, I will at least at least have 40 videos, video logs done for this year. One for every week. I didn't start immediately in the first of July. First of July, I just kind of did it. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to make this a thing. So I'm hoping I at least get 40 to 50 um, weekly video logs done. So the hardest thing is always trying to keep up with it. So... I'm gonna do my best to kind of keep up with it. Is that right? That's right for right now. Um, ignore the mess. The mess is a work in progress. So there's that. Um, let me go through my one list here of things that has happened in the past week, and then I can talk about things I'm gonna do for the month of July. Um, so Doc warned me about like, all right, be careful about what you do. Um, don't allow yourself to. Do things that really isn't your responsibility to be doing. I'm like, all right, Doc, I'll take care of that. And, like, there was a situation where Sue needed help with the gardening. And I was always allowing myself to make myself available, but she, being a mother of such a big household, has a lot of other things that she needs to take care of and a lot of things that she does. And sometimes she has trouble sleeping and she sleeps in and what have you and so on and so forth. So I understand that. However, Wednesday something happened, and it was one of those things like we gotta get it done now because someone pissed her off. I'm not gonna say who, not pouring out any names, but she got pissed off. I'm like, all right, we gotta do it now. And she wasn't mad at me, and I completely understood. But she was just kind of like, you know, I'm ready now. Let's do it. So it was Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now understand, Sue 
is a great person. She's a great woman. She's taught me a lot about, you know, just, just not really taught me a lot. She has always been a good friend to me. So understand what I'm about to say. I say out of complete love and, and, and understanding. She shovels like a girl. <laughs> and then, like, that's such, like, it's kind of derogatory, but, like, she's, like, she's trying to do it with one hand. She does a, like, like, like she's a press. Let me, let me take back what I said earlier about her being, about her being a girl, because obviously she, she's a woman. Um, but she's just really kind of like what you expect a valley girl to do, or like the popular, you know, pretty girl in high school to do. Like, she's just kind of like, eh. I'm like, all right, all right. Um, stand there and talk to me. <laughs> and if I need anything that you can handle, I'll, I'll let you know. And, you know, she's on the phone with one hand trying to shovel with the other hand. I'm like, that's not how you, that's not how you properly function. <laughs> you were working yesterday. Okay. It was hard for her. Well, I was trying to continue on a, com well, not continue on a conversation. I was trying to have a conversation with her because, like, Prior to us working, starting to work on the garden on Wednesday, um, we just don't talk anymore. And I think it's just a lot of things going on. Not just in her life, but my life as well and vice versa. So I try to talk, like, hey, let's just... You know, just talking, I'll answer questions, you know. I, I don't know why I treat everything like a QA. and a um, And it was just, like, pulling teeth. Like, she just, like, she she just, she would at first agree and then, like, not really talk, you know. So, it was just kind of like. I struggled to try to reconnect with, with an old friend, I guess. Which really sucks. But yeah, Wednesday worked most of the day until sunset. No. No, no, okay, no, I got that wrong. So it was around from six, um, I wish I could show you guys pictures, but like I, I didn't upload them to my computer, so I can't just like have them pop up. Um, but our the front yard has three sections. And um, we did section one and half section two on Wednesday. Did section three and half section section two on on Thursday. And Friday we did a we just kind of finished off with the mulch and evening things out and everything else. And that took about. Now that I think about, it, it really didn't take that long, but it felt longer. One because it was like 90, 90 degrees, and on Thursday it was so like, it was so bad on Thursday that I came into my room and I. Lay and like I'm like oh, I, I feel dizzy and I lay down and I passed out for like three hours, missing my visitation. Like I, I kind of felt it was coming, so I was able to message, you know, um, my son's mother, and um, she's like, yeah, that's fine, and everything else. You know, very little communication on that side. Um, I need to well, not now anyway, but like. I realized that I kind of need to pace myself a little bit easier. So, uh, we finished it on Friday for the parade on Saturday. Now, Friday night, I promised James that I'll let him actually hang out with his friends. So, he went over to his friend's place and they watched the escape room, which I didn't really... Like, I, like I was a transportation, and I wasn't just going to go home to come back, so... Um, I stayed, but like I really wasn't paying attention. I was just kind of like doing my own thing. Um, Saturday morning came, helped my dad with the broadcast for the parade since the house is right in front of the parade. Helped him set up, set up the table, the equipment, everything else. And then I helped Sue in the kitchen because she had to do, you know, Fourth of July. Food, you know, hamburgers, hot dogs, um, salads, like, you know, potato salad, macaroni salad, that kind of stuff. Um, then Bobby just, just showed up, like, just, just walked through the house and, like, like it's not my house to be, you know, oh, did you ask permission and, you know, he's 
Chuck's son. So it was just, it was just weird because he doesn't live there anymore. But he's just like always there. Oh, at least it seems like it. Like he's visiting Tyler supposedly constantly. Even though Tyler sleeps most of the day <laughs> before he has to go to work or whatever. Um, and that was just weird for me. Um, help Sue. Oh, so I realized while working, one of the things that I, I, that helps me work is if I find a song that, like, I realized, I realized this, like, on Wednesday when I was working on the yard, um, I would get angry on certain songs and I'll cool down on other songs. I'm like, okay, maybe this is where I can control this. So Simon helped me like create a playlist that will prevent me from getting, because whenever I do work, I get angry. And the anger allows me to do the work. It's going to sound weird, but better and faster. Well, not like, you know, like I'm trying to get it done, but like I, I do it more efficiently. So we created a playlist that allows me that like, oh, if I do happen to like lose my temper, especially with the heat and everything, that I don't lose my cool, that I don't get upset, that I don't start like, you know, going into like a spiral of anger <laughs> that like that can't be stopped and i end up like i think wednesday whenever i realized certain music helped me and this other music didn't was whenever i broke two hoes <laughs> well i broke one hoe went out and bought another one because i broke it so i replaced it and i broke that one too and i'm like okay i'm not angry at anything in particular i'm not even angry but I'm realizing like the music kind of gets me pumping and going going and i just kind of get into it so Thursday we tried it out and I realized I didn't really break anything now that I think about it. Um so you know, I I'm learning certain coping skills to be able to handle when things get when when I get it when I get a certain way, I suppose. So that's just really helpful to me. Um Thursday I had it scheduled that I was going to see, hey, we're going to watch another episode of um, Many Sides of Jane, which is an amazing documentary of someone who has DID. And I was really eager to you know, go to the next episode, even though I didn't finish the video at the time. The video is now done and is going to be um, made public tomorrow night on 10 o'clock, the same time that um, The Many Sides of Jane originally aired on a &E back in 2019. Um, but when I got, I messaged, I messaged A, I was like, yo, we, you know, we still got a meeting. I didn't get, I didn't hear from her back. I'm like, you know what, she's probably in a meeting. So let me just head down there and be ready for it. Cause I was just that excited about seeing another, seeing another episode. Um, I get down there and the building, like there's no lights in the building. There's no one in the parking lot. I'm like, no, oh, that's weird. So I call Jane, uh, you know, Jane, I call A again and, um, she doesn't pick up, and I leave her a voicemail, and then I leave her a video mail, oh, a video message. Like, yo, I'm here. Uh, no one's here, so I'm just going to head home. I must have the date messed up and everything else. And later on, she messaged me going, oh, man, I forgot to mention. Um, we're off for 4th of July, like on Thursday and Friday. Um, I'm really sorry and everything else like that. I'm like, okay, you know, that happens. I, you know, And I amazingly was able to not allow myself to be too sad, depressed, or emotional about it. So, um, yeah, that's definitely a good thing. Sad that I couldn't see another episode of Jane, but we're going to watch it this Thursday. So, luckily I already have the video already done. Like I said, it's going to be public tomorrow. So, I'm really excited about that. Um, technically, maybe, like, my mind's kind of like, maybe I should change the day rather than make it PM. I should make it AM. That way people during the day, like, if they see it, they're like, oh, it was there. Um, that video happens to show not just me, but James and Simon as well, and their take on what they saw and, and the notes that they took. Well, that means Simon took, James don't take notes. Um, so I was really kind of really excited about that. I talked about me passing out. Um, now, keep in mind, I mentioned when I first started talking about like the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday thing, working on the garden. Um, it was something that Doc was like, okay, well, be sure not to do anything that really isn't your responsibility. Um, help out where you can, but don't over, don't overextend yourself. And I realized, I think it was like maybe Thursday night to Friday, like Thursday night or Friday morning when I started working on a Friday morning, um, that I was like, okay, well, this really isn't my thing, but I know that if I don't do it, there's literally no one else that can. 
Um, Chuck was gone until Thursday, business trip. Um, Tyler, he, he works. Granted, he works in the evening, but like you know, he tends to like you know, he's a teenager still, so he relaxes most of the day. Um, the coma went off to a friend's place, so she was over there. And um, Josh happened. He he's allergic to grass, so he couldn't really do the job. So the only only two people who could handle it was me. Well. Who could physically handle it is me. Sue can't even really handle it because she happens to have a blood clot disease. So she works, if she's standing too hard or doing things too hard, she's in a lot of pain, you know, like excruciating. And, and, and the fear of another blood clot is, is tremendous when she does like a lot of work like that. Um, so if it wasn't me, I, I really don't know who else who would be able to do that, who would be able to help her with that. Um, even Chuck himself, like he has, uh, it, it goes by another name, but I know it's like a back disease that like, makes his back really weak. And sometimes, and like he's also diabetic. So like, you know, with the heat being the way that it was and everything else, I know that this, that they just couldn't really realistically achieve that goal. So I felt that I was helpful, but at the same time, it kept playing in my mind, like, okay, this really isn't my place to do all of this, but at the same time, I know that no one else really could. Reminds me of this uh, line from uh, Live Free or Die Hard, the fourth Die Hard movie, where John McClane, played by um, Bruce Wells, um, was, he just finished saving um, the kid, I forget the kid's actor's name, we're just gonna call him um, Dave. I, I don't remember, that might not, that may, that may be his name, but I don't think it was, but like he was done saving this kid, Dave. And Dave's like, okay, you saved me. We're done. I'm tired of being shot at and explosions everywhere. Like, let somebody else handle this. And and John McClane, um, Bruce Willis's character, was was like, look, kid, if I can let anybody else do this job right now, right here, if there was someone across the street, like, hey, you, Tim, do this, do all of this, I would. But the thing is that I can't. There's no one else right now that can do this because we're in a position that we are that that first response. We are the we, we are in a position that we can do something. So until someone else can, we are those people. And then Dave's like, I guess that's what makes you the hero, the good guy. And John's like, yeah, whatever. Let's go blow up some more shit. <laughs> and I guess to me, that's kind of like my life. It's kind of like the whole scenario of... Um, When no one else can, or the fact that no one else right now can, and you are there to do something, then do it. I think that's kind of my life. Call it for whatever it is. It is what it is. So, I guess the important thing I want to pull out from working on the garden to the point of, like, I guess heat stroke, <laughs> um, was that I survived. I'm always finding myself to be the best person for a lot of different things so yeah there's that um another thing i want kind of want to touch base on lately this whole race thing has been bugging me and i've been trying to, to, to stay away from it. i really have not because i don't feel that i am part of it because obviously i am i am in a demographic that is the the center of it all but at the same time it's one of those things like it's going to change so much in life my life particularly, because I am I am surrounded by the majority. Um, and I'm beginning to like see and, 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 and witness certain things that kind of make me raise my eyebrow and question things. Matter of fact, my, my brother, Big D, he's been posting some things that kind of go, yo, man, like, you know, like, I know he's not hateful towards me. He's not going to hang me. He's not going to prevent me from doing anything that I want to do. But he, I think he also, like, and I and I realize to a certain degree, he's on a demographic that is currently constantly right now being attacked. But mm, being black is also, like, like, I don't know the words for it. I don't know how to explain how and what is going on and how to potentially make things better in any aspect, even in my own life. I, like, it's not a cakewalk being black and yet there are definitely a lot of things to help give us as a race and a community 
better opportunities that otherwise would not be available to us. And keep in mind, back in the day, they didn't see themselves as being racist. They, they, they saw themselves as status quo. They were like, okay, well, this is it's either the law or this is just like, this is just the way things are. I don't know how to explain to people that life is just that complex and we need to find a way to help each other. But a lot of people are just more worried about their own status quo. Okay, well, if we let these group of people do this, then what about us? When Hispanics seem to be getting a lot of more jobs that are jobs that people don't really like to do or want to do, the, the majority were very much like, oh, they're taking jobs. Like, well, these are jobs that, you know, you wouldn't necessarily, necessarily take. And these are people who are willing to do these jobs for dirt cheap. Not really much of an argument there, really. Like, if you want the job, then, then go get the job. <laughs> But they, they are getting these jobs because they feel they have no other. This is the best opportunity that they have available to them. When it comes to illegal immigrants, and it, you know, it's one of those, okay, well, they're trying to get into a better place. Not all of them are murderers, killers, and rapists. Shit, I'm, I'm, ex, I'm an ex-con with mental health issues. I am the, the poster boy. If someone's like, okay, well, we need to find somebody who will be able to take the rap for this. Oh, this guy, he's black. People don't like black people already. Mental health, that's already bad. And he has a criminal record. That is looking at a scenario that might not happen in my lifetime. Well, no, I can't even say that because it has happened in my lifetime. It happened to me. So, but that's something that certain other demographics wouldn't have to deal with. Not necessarily. Maybe the, the way that they have to deal with it is separate, but I guess the way that I see that they address it is that they attack. And I guess I, I, I'm I, trying not to be that guy that just always attacks. I'm trying not to be that guy. And I, I see that guy slip every now and again. Not, not, and it's not even always a physical attack. Sometimes it's just like, you know, attitude. You know, sometimes it's just the way I talk to people and sometimes it's just the way that, you know, I, I, I address certain situations. All in all, I really don't know how to feel like the fact that there is a lot of ins insensitivity, I guess, uh, the lack of being able to understand and, and empathize and sympathize with somebody else in another situation. And granted, you, like, for instance, a rape victim. Yeah. I'm jumping because I'm trying really hard to, like, articulate what I mean. If a friend of mine was raped, I'd be like, oh, that is horrible, that is heinous, that is bad, that is tremendously everything disgusting and bad. You know, bad, 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 bad. But I would never really truly understand what it's like to be a woman in that situation at all. Even if I was raped myself, it's a completely different scenario than a woman being raped. Everybody's scenario is different. I get that. But, like, I am not insensitive to a woman's suffering. I'm not insensitive to anybody who goes, I think I was taken advantage of. And I'm like, okay, well, what do, what is it that you want us, like, that, that, that you want to happen? And I'll do what I can to help you with that. And granted, they're like, well, I'm going to need you to buy me a house. And I'm like, well, that's not going to really, that, no. <laughs> you know, like, there are certain lines, but everything is taken. Everything needs to be taken and in that individual personal case. What is what will be helpful for that person to be able to move forward in life to live a fully successful no fully a potentially happy and successful life. And and it seems like any time that my demographic happens to be like, okay, well, these are the things that would help us live a full successful life. There are some people who will take advantage of that. Just like there are some women who will take advantage of that, and there are some Caucasian male, Caucasian males out take advantage of the opportunities given to them, and and step on everybody else. But like, we cannot assume that everybody's going to be bad. We have to assume the best case scenario for people, because once we assume that everybody is at the worst all the time, nothing matters. Every the hope is gone, and 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 the chance of betterment and advancement and 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 the pursuit of happiness and all that stuff is gone. So what am I rambling about? I'm rambling about, I wish people just gave a shit. I wish people were able to empathize and sympathize and not 
always be so damn selfish. I think that's the best way for me to articulate right now how I feel. And I hope that maybe in the future, I'll be able to talk to certain people like Chuck and and and, and my brother Big D and, and other people in my life who kind of see things a certain kind of way and help them understand that, you know, it's not an even playing ground. It isn't. But we can help ease transitions. We can help other people at least finish the race. But we won't do that if we're always attacking each other. I talked about last week the person who I was talking to online about, you know, um, police, the behavior towards police. And this person, who is Caucasian, by the way, was just very hateful, was very angry, and just wanted to indirectly, passive-aggressively cause conflict with people who were all of law enforcement, with people who, who, who want to still protect and serve and empathize and sympathize. And it's just like, why? Why cause more pain? Why cause more suffering? Why do the opposite of what's what is being fought against right now, peacefully, to the best of everybody's ability. Granted, there are some people out there who are taking advantage of this and going, I'm going to damage things, I'm going to steal things, I'm going to hurt people. That's not going to solve any problems. What's going to solve problems is conversation. And maybe, maybe, maybe it's time I start having conversations. But the thing is, I can't have a conversation if I'm not even sure what, where my own stance is. And maybe my own stance is just peace. Maybe my own stance is just like, hey, just try to empathize. Try to put yourself in my shoes. And don't put yourself in your shoes in my shoes. Well, don't put yourself, like I guess, in your body in my shoes. Try to put yourself in my body, in my shoes, in my daily daily life, or people like me. Not And try not to look at the worst case scenario of, oh, that black person um, robbed the store, beat up the be at the store clerk and like, you know, burn the building down. I'm like, oh, that, that's an extreme. That's somebody else. Look at me right now and kind of go, okay, is his life easy? No. Is his life easy because some of the choices he's made? No. But does that mean that he deserves to not have certain opportunities if he's willing to work for it? Please understand, I, I work for almost everything I have. Certain things I do need help on. And that's all I really ask, help. And help isn't like, okay, I need help moving. So I'm going to sit back on this chair while you guys move my stuff because that's helping me. No, I'm going to be in it with you guys. I'm going to be doing the most work. And whatever work I cannot do or I cannot do like efficiently, help me with that. But it's still me. It's still my work. It's still my marriage. It's still my effort. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out the words. I'm hoping that talking about it helps. But... Who can you really talk to about something so personal and, and, and confrontational, I guess. I don't know. But I think I spent a lot of time talking about that particular thing. So let me talk about something a little bit more happy. I went to a I went to um a Fourth of July barbecue, which is really weird for me because I don't do social things. I don't. Um Bunny and her family, like her mom, her dad, um, I think we her uncle and her aunt were there too, with nieces and nephews and grandkids, they invited me to come to the barbecue. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I went there and it, it was, it wasn't as stressful as I thought it would be. There is one thing I do regret. Princess was playing in the sprinklers and she wanted her mom to come in with her. And, you know, she couldn't. Well, I know, no, she did. And she wanted me to play with, you know, to play with them. And I'm like, I only have, like, I, it wasn't this, but, like, I only have one outfit, and that's the one I'm wearing. Because I took all my other clothes out, and I did laundry. But I couldn't get it all done before I left for the barbecue. So I felt like I missed an opportunity there to, like, connect, to allow myself to be outside my own comfort zone and still feel safe, I guess. Lack of better words. I had a conversation with Danny, and I like I told her like, "Oh, I went to a barbecue." She's like, "Oh, that's something that you you didn't really use to do that before." And in my mind, I'm like, "Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really do that." Um, I guess one of the difference would be that like I felt more, I, I feel more comfortable with Bunny's family. I feel more comfortable with 
Bunny's parents and her relatives, and they all welcomed me decently well. Granted, the you know, the, in the back of my mind, the movie Get Out continuously plays like, just be careful. But, um, no, they've been nothing but nice to me. Nothing but open, nothing but um, just welcoming. Whereas when it came to Danny, it was very much like Danny, you know, had her, you know, negative side. But, like, you know, she, she was my girlfriend at the time and she did her best to kind of help accommodate me. Um, her daughters were her daughters, like, you know, it's just amazing. And um, Brooklyn can be a brat a lot of times, but luckily, like, you know, most times I'm able to get, like, reach her. Like, you know, get to her and be like, yo, stop doing that. Let's let's try to, you know, figure something else out. Um, but at the same time, um, Danny's mom happened to just cause a lot of stress. Um, every, every day was, like, walking on night chills there. And, like, it was hard because, you know, Danny was already hard to get motivated to begin, to get, to begin with, and then her mom will do and say the things that she do and says and then on top of that you know the kids act up and everything i was like you know yeah princess is a, is a child she acts up sometimes but like it's not like it's overbearing and, and well, at least when i'm there when i'm there she seems to listen when i'm there and then you know caitlin in brooklyn too whenever i was there they listened a little bit more i i, I don't know maybe I, I just felt more comfortable over at bunny's place well not but it wasn't even bunny's place. it was bunny's parents place but like i was comfortable there and it wasn't stressful. It wasn't, you know, I didn't have to do anything. If I did something, it's because I chose to do it. And it wasn't like, you know, when I, where I was dating Danny that I had to do stuff. But it was one of those things that, like I explained earlier, there's a problem and I'm there. And, I'm, and if I'm physically there, I should be able to do something about it. So there were always, like, you know, one issue or another. Or, or, or even if there wasn't an issue, it was still that feeling of extras all the time. But whenever I was with Bunny and her family and everything else, I didn't feel eggshell. I didn't feel like, oh, I have to perform or I have to do X. I need to do Y. Or that anything was going to be stressful. It was like, I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to be cool. And it was fine. It was cool. It was great. I really enjoyed my time with Bunny and her family. Family. And, like, I felt bad that I had to leave to go and um, help great grandma mouse get a shot and on a nighttime routine and everything else but i know that at least my time there was not bad it, well it wasn't stressful it was i felt bad about leaving i wanted to stay like it, i'm not sure if you guys ever experienced like you know oh um whenever you leave a party like oh i'm sorry i gotta go but like you know you already have your keys in your hand you know, if, if some people have like, you know, a button that starts the car like, I'm sorry I have to leave, but I gotta get going. It wasn't like that when I left Buddy's place. It was just kind of like, I really wish I could stay. I wish we could have more conversations. I wish, I wish a lot more. And they all seem to really appreciate me. Um, they make the effort to try to understand me. Granted, I, I, I'm trying really hard not to drop any bombs. I haven't told them about my DID yet. Or, or at the very least, I haven't had a conversation with all of them about my DID. Uh, Buddy knows about it, but you know, it's not something I, I, I don't know how to open up that conversation. Like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm not always going to be me. Or like, oh yeah, by the way, I have this condition and it's going to be, sometimes it's weird, but I'm doing my best to um, handle situations um, and, 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 and control the recovery. Um, Maybe whenever that time comes, it'll be easier because they make it easier. They, they they allow me to open up. Or maybe, or maybe deep down inside, I just fear that I'm gonna lose all this comfort. And I don't think I'm I am, but at the same time, the little voice in the back of my head. But yeah, they were just great. All of them, all of them have been great. They all have been understanding. They have all just been amazing, every single one. And they all seem to really like me. So I can't. I'm trying not to smile, but obviously that's that's failing. It was just great. And I'm, I can't wait until next time. So that's good. Um, I have here that uh, my sister Lenan came down for the parade with her friend Bridget and Bridget and us, as in like, you know, us. Uh, didn't have exactly the best of experiences. And honestly, I have to admit that a lot of that was me. <laughs> um, me and Bridget did not, you know, see eye eye about a lot of things. And we didn't really talk to have a lot of disagreements, but like it seemed like just 
because a lot of things didn't work well, especially whenever we first met. Uh, I just came out of uh, jail. There's no medication for me because jail said they were going to get me my medication. When I got out, they're like, yep, you're on your own. Good luck. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I don't like I was just kind of trying really hard to like keep things together until they were able like because to get medication, you have to see a doctor, then see a psychiatrist, well, see a doctor, see a therapist, see a psychiatrist, and I had to get my insurance all in order and everything else. But, but the whole process of me getting my medication, like potentially get my medication back, it was six months has passed. And I'm like, you know what? I have survived without incident for this long. I don't need medication. I don't want to be in a situation where I don't have my medication and something happens because of that. I'd much rather be able to struggle and hold myself together based upon my own will to the best of my abilities. Yeah, it won't be perfect, but at least I'm making that effort. And I really, in my opinion, have succeeded in that in the past five years. Um, it's not easy, um, but to me, medication isn't a magical pill. Mag medication more or less helps allow yourself to be on a level where recovery is easier for you. Which means you have to do things. You can't just take pills and be like, I'm just going to go on my normal day. You know, you take you, 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 you take the medication and you, you know, you, you follow recovery steps. You, know, you do what needs to be done. You see your therapist. You, 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 you go through um, self-help, um, self-help procedures. Um, you understand, okay, this is a stressful situation. I get myself out. When I get mad, it's what I do. You know, I, the one reason I have skills, uh, sort of access management and all the other organizations and agencies that I have at my disposal is to be able to help me with these things. And even this video is to help me more or less in this time that I cannot physically go and see my therapist, that I can still talk about my own feelings and my own events that are going on in my life. And I'm making myself, I am making myself, um, do most of these things whereas other people i know is harder for them but like i think a lot of people's the, the misconception is the idea that um i take these pills and i'm just magically better and like no that's not how that works you take this pill and you're not as manic you're not as high and you're not as low you're in the middle ground that you can actually be able to help yourself um and i say all that to say a reason oh so when i so whenever i came out of jail and i was introduced to bridget who was at the time uh, a housemate we clashed a lot, like a lot, a lot. So, um, so you know, now obviously, she's, you know, she's moved on forward with her life. She's done good for herself, um, and she is a mate. Uh, she's just done better. Um, and I, I do realize a lot of the things that we argued about in the past was because we just bumped heads with just two strong-headed people, especially back then. Without my medication, I'm like, I have to handle all of this. It was just a lot of stress, and I'm like. Like just getting into the world and having to deal with this and having to deal with that and you know, um, my wife at the time obviously leaving me for whoever, <laughs> going wherever and not having my son and everything else and and everything else. Just a lot of things on my plate and everything else. But like seeing Lenan and Bridget on Saturday, it it was um. Now, it wasn't like, you know, hugs and kisses and all that other, other crap. It was just like, okay, well, you're a person. I'm not going to treat you like shit because you don't deserve that. And if I want to be treated better, I got to treat you better. Treat people better and it, 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 should, and it should come back. And even if it doesn't come back, I'm, that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because it's good for me. Um, so that was good that I was able to see Bridget and her family, well, a, a portion of her family, on um, on the 4th of July. Uh Helping around with uh, Lenan and her kids and everything else. That was also good. Um, so, yeah, you know, just good things there. Um, it is annoying when someone assumes things. Now, there's two situations um, in this assumption where a friend was, hold on. I have a friend that lately we've been doing things a lot recently, and me and his guy friend. And, um, I'm not gonna use his name because I do not want things to get. Because I want to talk to him about this. Like now that I've, I, I said all these things for the past 42 minutes, I want to talk to him about the, about, about this. But like, um, there, like we would do. There's an activity that we do. Um, watch TV. All right. I'm not. People who know me know I'm not really a big TV watcher fan. And there were times where I'm like, oh man, I can't make it because. I'm tired or like you know not really something I want to do today. And he seems to kind of get very. Huffy puffy about it. 
And it's one of those things that makes me more like that brings the anger back. And I'm like, no, no, do not grab him by the throat, throw him through a wall, and just kind of like, you know, stomp on his head afterwards. It's not like that. And I know he doesn't mean to be like that. But he is like that. <laughs> so sometimes that gets on my nerves where I'm like, okay, well, I don't feel like, you know, watching TV for like half an hour to an hour because I'd much rather um not do that and that's not really what I, like i have a problem with that but that's not really what I, i'm trying to get to is the idea of assuming if i'm like oh man i'm really too tired i really don't want to watch tv tonight uh and i go to my room and i happen to like let's say rather than like you know go down there and watch tv i might watch something on youtube up here and then like oh so i heard that you're watching youtube or i saw that you were online playing video games or like you know oh you're up until like three four o'clock i'm like Okay, so me saying that I am too tired meant that I was too tired to deal with it. <laughs> so I just wanted to, wanted to be me and us up here. <laughs> so like, but like, I don't want to always have to explain myself because technically I don't have to, right? So, but at the same time, it's like whenever he does get kind of like, I'm like, oh, okay, 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 don't get mad, don't get mad. <sighs> okay, sorry that you feel bad about it. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to do my own thing. So, um... And the reason I bring that up was because, and I just connect, I'm just doing a really bad job connecting everything. I went to a birthday party Sunday. So keep in mind, um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, work on the yard. Friday, took James down to see, hang out with his friends, and I was kind of stuck there too. Saturday, parade thing, and then a barbecue right after that. Sunday, a um, birthday party for my Nephew, I call him my nephew, he's not really my nephew, but he is my 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 cousin and my one of my best friends, Zach, his son, they're throwing a party for him on Sunday, and I was like, I'm coming. Um And at the same time, I'm like, I knew that me going to the barbecue with Bunny was one thing. The parade was something really different and everything that happened during the parade. Bobby coming over, um Nakoma had a mutation. Sue's kind of dealing with her thing too. So um, there's a lot of things that was happening. And then on top of that, I'm going to this birthday party. Um, I, at first, I'm like, I'm just going to go there. And, you know, here's the gift. It was nice seeing you guys. I'll see you later. Um, was this was the initial plan. But I get there and I realize because of my level of stress, anger, you know, just trying to handle a lot of different things in, in, in like a whole weekend. And keep in mind, this is life. I understand this is what regular people do. They go to birthday parties with their friends and families and loved ones. They um, they do things like work in a yard. Um, you know, they, 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 they go to meetings. Keep in mind, I went to most of my meetings this week. Uh, like I said, I even tried to go to the one with A and that, that ended up not working. And I canceled the one with, um, with, with, with Doc, which is my specialist um for a lot of different things and um i actually canceled that because um the playlist wasn't working uh, my 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 the, my headphones were not actually functioning then so i couldn't put myself in the right frame of mind to be able to stop what i was doing to go see my specialist so but i but i did message her back later whenever i calmed down a little bit and was like okay i'm sorry that i missed it let's try to reschedule for the next week and this is the things that i want to talk about and everything else um and, and you know all this life is happening so um so i go down there with like my one eye i think it was this one was like completely bloodshot is the best word i have for it but bloodshot is like an understatement it was like not like a blood because I've had a blood vessel in my eye pop because of anesthesia, but like my, my eye was all right. Um, and this one was just clear. And I'm like, yep, sunglasses indoors is what we're doing. So um, I go in there, I give him the presents, I give Zach a hug, I say hi to Catherine, I see a lot of different people. I sit down, just kind of like, yep, what am I going to do now? You know, I should probably just leave. So I, I, I actually get up to leave, and Zach flags me down, and he starts talking to me. And I'm like, all right, you know, I haven't talked to my, my one, my best friend, two, my favorite cousin, and three, someone, like, he's just really close to me. So I'm like, yeah, you know, we'll talk. I don't have a problem talking with you. And especially if I keep myself focused on what you're saying, I don't have to be feeling overwhelmed about everything else. Um, so me and him are talking, and I'm like, yo, you know, I, I do want to kind of leave, I'm not trying to rush you or anything, but I want to know if before I leave, is it okay that you, me, your wife, Catherine, and 
my favorite nephew, <laughs> who I call Captain because he, whenever he came out, when I first saw him, I'm like, oh, it's Captain Picard and Baby Four. <laughs> So I call him Captain. So like, you know, I'm like, I want all four of us to take a picture. It's like, okay, yeah, we just have to wait for certain things to like, you know, happen and go on. I'm like, okay, that means I need to wait for the the, the cake to be um, presented, blown out, dished out, people eat the cake, uh, for them to take their own pictures with all the other actual relatives and friends and everything else like that. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm here for a while. So like, you know, all that happens and everything else. And like, there was a point where I like, they had bottles of juice for people to drink in and it was towards the end of the whole party thing and like you know he's talking to me about um i think he's talking to me about about, about a particular anime and um i i i i i i dump a cup worth of uh juice into the cup and ice into it too and start drinking it dump drink dump drink he's like you know what you could take that home I'm like you know what i might just do that dump drink dump drink and i'm like i'm like trying to tell myself yo stop it i'm gonna get sick and i keep doing it i'm like oh what the hell like that's something that used to be a thing whenever i couldn't control all of us and i can't control all of us now like i guess a better term would be like whenever we all were on the same page obviously something i know was wrong i just don't it's not my place to talk about it on this forum uh, well, about this particular thing on this particular forum on this particular day and everything like it's just it's not something i'm going to talk about right now and it might not be all me that I, like, I don't have a problem talking about it, but I know one of the others do. But it was just one of those things like, okay, this is happening and I can't stop it. I can't stop it. And like, it was gone. Like, it was like, oh, and he looked at it like, dude, you could have taken it home. I'm like, I know, I know. Can we take this picture now? <laughs> I want to, like, you know, can we just take this picture? And like, the picture was turned out right, turned out great. And um, I said goodbye to them. Um, Chuck Su, Nakoma came to the party. They already left. And I'm like, okay, cool. I need to go. I need to take care of a couple of things before I head home, but I need to, uh, I need to get going. So like, you know, hugs, kisses, you know, see you guys later. And I head home and I come into the door. I'm like, hey, I'm home. Did, did X, Y, and Z heading up now to my like, you know, 100 degree room because I much rather be there and like in sanctuary, in my own sanctuary, in our sanctuary, than in a cooler room with 20 other people which is a, more or less an environment I was just more or less kind of escaping from. Um, and and once again, it's not the people. Like, my, my auntie was there. Um, uncle uncle was there. Uh, my other nephews. Uh, just a lot of people who I actually knew and were comfortable with, they were there too. Just, just something. Something was just wrong. Once again, that's the most I can go into it right now. Something was just wrong. I'm like, okay, well, we just need to go. Um, so I tell him, hey, I'm here. I'm going up. I'm going up to the sanctuary, which is there, the tower. Um, and and how can I say things without saying people's names? <laughs> um, Jay, he got up and started following me. I'm like, hey, what do you need? <laughs> like, oh, I just want to talk to you. I'm like. Okay, about what? Like, well, well, you were just at a party for like two hours. You said you're only going to be here for a little bit. Is there a problem with me talking to you? I'm like, no, 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 not a, not a problem. What's up, buddy? How can I help you? <laughs> and you know, he starts talking, and I'm like, I do my best to give him like my, you know, my earful and you know, everything. I was like, cool, 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 right? All right, you done? You anything else on your mind? Cool. I'm gonna go upstairs use the bathroom because <laughs> I drank way more, like I didn't say this but like I really did drink way more of that juice than I should have my my body was like yo you're gonna expel this now <laughs> in the bathroom you're gonna spell it right now while while he's talking to you I'm like well buddy I'm gonna have to let you go <laughs> and it's just one of those things like I shouldn't have to be like okay well just because I said I was really gonna, gonna go there you know drop off the guest and leave doesn't necessarily mean that you know I shouldn't have to be like, okay, I said I was going to do that and something else happened. It doesn't mean like I now have to do other things. It just means that like things happen. It wasn't my intention to be there as long as I did. It definitely was my intention to drink like, you know, a cup, a, a bottle and a half of juice. So like, it wasn't not, not actual juice. I'm not like talking slang or whatever. It was actual juice. And it was just kind of like, I just felt really annoyed. I'm like, hey, 
I don't have the music on me right now. I can't focus on being calm. I just need to get through this right now. So, wow, I just realized that's what I was doing. I was just trying to like, cause I didn't have my headphones because hey, I bought a pair of headphones from the dollar store. Only one ear works from the box, from the box, put it in. Oh, only one works. <laughs> so like, I really didn't have my regular coping mechanism. And it's not like I feel I have to explain every small thing of all my moods. Sometimes I just want to not have to do that, which is one of the reasons I like being up here. So I don't have to explain why I feel certain things. I don't have to explain why I'm doing things later or whatever, other than to myself. And if I feel like, okay, well, like that board, I want to do that board. I'm getting that thing done today. I'm getting it done today. And like, I don't have to explain why I have or haven't done that board to anybody else but me, because that's mine. That's mine. So like, I guess it was just starting to really annoy me that like lately it just seemed to be that I had to explain myself or why I could or couldn't do something. Like there are even situations where like, you know, oh, like, you know, you can always say no. I'm like, I have seen what happens to other people when they say no. And I have, I have heard through the grapevine what is said when I say no to certain things. And, and three, I have seen who has to take my place when I say no and they shouldn't. It's just a lot of things that, in my opinion, I guess shouldn't really be happening. No, no. But I realized I've, I've, I've talked. I guess I, I must really needed to talk. Because it's been 50, uh, close to 50 minutes. I've definitely been talking for 51 minutes and 7 seconds. So, um, at least from the live thing I'm watching now, there's a couple seconds uh, buffer there. So, it's probably going to be like, you know, 52 or whatever. Um, but, yeah. That was my week. Mainly the last few days. This Friday, I'm going to a movie night <laughs> with Bunny, and I'm extremely excited. I'm not entirely sure what to bring, because I'm not entirely sure what her interests are, but I'm going to figure it out. Um, I have here my list of things to do in July. Uh, I have an application I want to fill. There's another location, since the courts happen to not return my call yet. Um, I'm going to continue looking. Um, so this is a place called the Towers. Yeah, coincidentally, that's like that has been my first choice. I definitely want to get the application thrown in there. Um, I also want to find out other two. I want to find at least two other residential locations that happen to be perfect. It has to be better than the Towers to me. Um, I need. To, I also want to be able to talk to. A, she's part of this op R. Um, she's like, okay, well, the Towers doesn't seem like a good idea because they're gonna look at this, look at your history, and say no to you. Uh, but I talked to the manager up there, and she said, well, your history took place uh x amount of years ago we're not gonna look at that we're gonna look at everything else though i'm like okay well let's let's see where that takes us so i want to get that done in july i want to get the application in i want to make sure i'm on the waiting list and i, I want to make sure I, I i know who i'm talking to i have the note card i'm not gonna put i'm gonna put the business card up on that board <laughs> i'm gonna be like hey you know what this is what i want this is what i'm gonna aim for um the legacy project um when it comes to that there's this packet i still need to send out i meant to do that with a on Thursday, we weren't able to get that done. I actually don't have anything else. That actually, that is the main thing for the legacy project I want to do for July, so I'm going to get that done. For Jane, Project Jane, I want to renew my license because that runs out uh, three quarters of the month through. I also need to renew my registration, so I, I'm going to get a head start on that one. I have two debts to pay off, one for Big D and another one for Kitty. Um, the episode of The Many Sides of Us is going to be published. Um, We'll make public tomorrow at 10, but I think I might make that 10 a.m. rather than p.m. Um, I'm also, I also this month want to watch two more episodes of Many Sides of Jane and see where that takes me. For Second Chance Gaming, last month I was not able to finish a game for one game one month. I felt disappointed in myself. So I'm going to try to finish a game. I, I, it's Pokemon I'm going to try to finish. I'm going to try, I'm, I am going to try to finish <laughs> Pokemon Shield on my uh, Nintendo Switch that my brother Big D got me for Christmas, last Christmas. So I'm going to work on that. Um, I want to get done version 2.0, the last three videos for uh, the trip to come human because Vince has been like, yo man, got to get that done because I'm eager to see how that shit ends. So I'm like, all right. Um, I'm also going to start three things, well, two things. One, I've already started the ri rivalry scrimmage. I'm going to call that rivalry Sunday because we've been doing that on Sunday. And we've been doing it. Like, at first, we try to do all four games, like, every week, and they're like, oh, that's a lot. But it's often every other week. I'm like, all right, we tried that. I'm like, all right, that's still too much. All right, how about this? Two games every other week. And it's like, oh, that's still a lot. And like, I st I'm still losing. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, figure out the right pace to be able to get this to work. So I'm like, all right, well, 
this month we're trying out one game every weekend. Uh, last weekend was Dragon Ball Z Fighters, and I did better because we only had to focus on one game. So I only had to really focus on training on one game at a time. So I, we're doing that. Um, I want to do something called like Let's Play Wednesday. That way, like Wednesday morning on my free S day, I can actually like play a game, um, stream it on Twitch, and play for like an hour. Like last time I did that, it was a game called Paper Please. I really liked it. I might try to do another game this week. I'm not entirely sure, but I do want to try to do that every week. Because I like, realize a lot of other streamers, like I play a lot of games. Not like an overly amount of too much, but like I do play a lot of games, but a lot of it I don't stream because I'm also doing 20 other things. Like like sometimes while I'm, while I'm working on a video here, I have a game over here. I don't know the paperwork over here, making notes and everything else. And then like over here is something completely different. And this like, you know, the, well, it's a lot of stuff that goes on with me. So, um, if I kind of set out an hour on Wednesday morning to play a game, just to play a game, fun game, pointless game that has no, like, I'm not going to continue. It's not like it has a, like, Paper Please is one of those games I can just pick up, play, and put down. I don't have to, like, follow a trend because it's just like you make the trend. It's just a series of tasks that you do. So, um, I might do that. Um, and I want to do a less co op. Me. Uh, me, Hunter, and um, his sister Forge played a game called Duck Game the other day. L yesterday, actually. Yesterday, actually. And it's on my Twitch. I might upload it to YouTube. I might not. I don't know. Depends if I at least get, like, you know, a couple people to say, like, yeah, we would like to see that. Um, it was a fun game. It was a fun time. And I'm learning how to use the OBS uh, Streamlab a lot better. So, like, I definitely might try to make a night where like it's less co-op that and like me joe and hunter have been playing uh destiny 2 as well so we like what was it last it was last week we were playing destiny 2 and it was this time trial game we had to jump platforms and oh god it was, it was craziness for a good two hours so like i might start streaming that kind of stuff but destiny 2 is kind of funny when it comes to obs but like you know we'll figure it out but i realize i'm trying to speed up because i'm running out of I, I ran out of time like 30 minutes ago but thank you guys for watching and i think this is, this helps this helps allow me to kind of condense what is going on in my life how i feel about certain things because what there's a move the, this tv show yeah sorry there's a tv show called the uh, um dispatch from elsewhere where um well if you haven't seen it see it but there's one part of, of, of the show where um the guy's therapist is like how do you feel about certain things you know he he, he wanted he liked this girl and this girl's like do you do you like um lemon pie or peach pie he's like you know they're, they're both nice you know the pies and she's like you know do you have an opinion about anything and he's like, yeah, I, I sure quite do. Like, you know, the pies. And no, that's a fact. <laughs> and you don't have an opinion about anything. And like, that really kind of bummed him out. And um, his therapist was like, you know what? Try to find out how you feel about things. Try to understand what your feelings are when X, Y, or Z happens. Then that kind of concretes you more as a person. And honestly, what, the problem of being a persona, especially one as long lasting as I have been, is. Uh, is rampancy, losing of who you are. And then something else steps in as you become lost. One of the things I always try to do is try to realize who I am and what I like doing and what I like, what I want to become. It's a daily thing for me to try to discover, but I'm hoping that I can. So these videos help me do that. And it also keeps me in check. So that's always a good thing. And for anybody who's like, oh, how are things doing? Like, granted, I'm going to feel bad like I have an hour video. If you're curious about re you know, watching me talk for like an hour. Um, but yeah, that's my life this week. So thanks for anybody and everybody who watched and anybody and everybody who's going to watch. And I will see you guys next week. Later. Oh, and don't forget to you know, check out the many sides of us whenever that becomes public tomorrow, either in the morning or at night. I'm guessing morning might be better for you guys, so we'll see. Maybe be the cool opposite since like Jane's a female with so many personalities, uh, so many parts, and I'm male. Like we just, seen, you know, what? I'm, I'm going. I'm switching over to morning. Jane's might not like the fact that I'm going in there and changing that, but it's, it's, I'm just doing it. All right. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later because I got a bunch of other stuff to do, and I. Ooh, starting to get hot. So I'll see you guys later, all right? Take care.